How's it going, guys? So we are here in uh, Melania's hallway, trying to get some co-op going to try and help someone take her out here. Uh, this is Elden Ring, for those that don't know. So I've been trying to record this uh, for a while. Um, and it hasn't been hasn't been going too well, but this is about the best I could do. Um, so we got two guys here trying to do some co-op. Um, Melania, for those that don't know, is one of probably one of the hardest bosses in Elden Ring. Um, she when she hits you, she gains health. As you can probably see, when someone gets hit, she's gonna gain health back. She's got those sweet. She's got a really long katana, and she's got um, those very long sweeping attacks. She's just trying to do like a Spartan kick on that guy over there. So I'm just trying to do some jump attacks, get some good damage in. And she's pretty quick. Um, her most famous attack, which you're probably going to see here in a minute. Um, is called the Waterfowl Dance. She does a flurry of crazy swings. And it's pretty much a one shot uh, if you're not careful. So we're just like, ah, here she goes. And this guy's dead. And that is the host of uh, the fight who is summoning me and this other guy in. So the fight is over. Um, honestly, this is what, this is what keeps happening when I try and do this. Um, I, um, I put my summon sign down, uh, go into the fight. Um, we make it to the second phase sometimes. Um, but a lot of the time, honestly, um, the, uh, we end up losing the fight because the host dies. Um, I've, di I've obviously died a couple times. Um, got caught in some attack animations and whatnot and made some mistakes and ended up dying. Um, which obviously when I'm help trying to help somebody, I feel bad about that, but, um, you know, it happens. Um, so <laughs> my guys taking a little snooze here, trying to wait for somebody to summon them. Um, so yeah, uh, this, this boss is, is really, really tough. Um, honestly, I did not. I did not beat her solo in the game. I summoned uh, my mimic summon. Um, basically, the mimic summon is a is a copy of yourself, which is really cool. Um, it was pretty strong at the at the beginning, and then it got nerfed. Um, I think on the first on the first big patch of the game, um, and uh, I was actually trying some of this co op stuff too when uh, when. Melania herself was actually buffed from one of the patches. Um, if she swung her sword and didn't hit anything, she would still gain health, um, which is crazy. Um, you know, I, I came in here with like three, four people a couple times, and it was just ridiculous. Like, um, she, uh, she, was just, she was just killing people left and right. It's, it's nuts. Um, and honestly... When you when you summon um, when you summon friends into the fight um, in a boss in a boss fight in Souls, um, the boss gains. I mean, I don't know if it's the same in every game, but I know in some cases the boss gains like uh, 25 25 percent, uh, 50 percent health, or 25 percent health every every summon that gets summoned into the fight. So, I mean, the, the, it's really, it's really odd to me that people want to fight her with, you know, with the, I know they want to fight with their friends and whatnot, but that's, that's giving Melania a ridiculous amount of health. Um, and she already, she already heals when she hits you, um, you know, and you, you can, you can block with like a great shield or a regular shield and, Despite her hitting that, she still gains health, which is kind of mind-boggling, I think. Um, that's really kind of an unfair advantage, I think. But, 
anyway. Um, cause you know, people were, you know, at the beginning were trying to get around that waterfowl dance that she does. Um, and you know, blocking, trying to block the damage, but uh, she ga- she gains all her you know no matter if she if she hits you or she hits you with with a shield she's gonna gain health either way so um, I think the strategies that I've heard um, you know I've tried it a bunch of times and it's it's pretty difficult to do um, the strategy is when she when she raises up in the air um, for the first for her before her first flurry. Um, you can run far away, um, which when she starts the attack, she'll kind of come over to you real fast with that flurry. Um, so if you run far enough away, you should be clear. Then she does, you know, two, three, four flurries after that. So the second, I I think the second and the third flurry, you can dodge towards her and try and dodge into the attack and it won't hit you um like i said it's it's really difficult to do i've um i think in one of these attempts here you'll see me kind of um i did actually dodge into it uh and was able to mitigate uh avoid some damage but then it it caught me like one of the other flurries um so yeah um but apparently the strategy to try that I've heard of to try and knock her, knock her out of that attack is you can throw a uh, in this what it's called in this game it's a freezing pot uh, so basically it's like a you know a freeze bomb basically um, so you you throw it at her and once she goes up for the, to start that attack and it'll knock her out of the attack um, and I think it's only I think it's only when she goes up. And she hasn't started the attack because I think I actually was trying and I, I hit her with a, a freezing pot um, after she had started the attack and she didn't stop her her flurries. So I think it you have to knock her out of the air um, when she initially first goes up for that attack. Um, for me, I don't know, like, you know, I was trying it. I was trying it in some previous attempts and. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I just, I just see her go up for that attack and I freeze. I'm like, Oh God, I don't, you know, I just like lose, I just lose all train of thought and I don't know what I'm doing. Um, cause it's, it's frightening. It, it really is. Um, you know, no matter, no, no matter how much health you have, um, it'll, it'll kill you pretty much. So... So I apologize, you know, th- there's a little gap here in between these, in between these attempts. Um, the next few attempts, I think, uh, I get summoned pretty quickly, but, uh, there are some, there are some spots here where, um, there's this, you know, dead, dead time waiting to, uh, to get summoned. Um, but, uh, it is, it is pretty, f- pretty fun doing this, seeing, uh, how other people handle themselves, uh, you know, what kind of, what kind of builds they have and what kind of, um, weapons they're using and, um, uh, a lot of people using magic and incantations and stuff like that. Uh, so it's, it's pretty cool to, to see that stuff. All right. So I'm getting summoned again here. Um, now Melania is, uh, is apparently weak to bleed and, um, frost uh so that's why i was saying the the frost pot will knock her out of that attack um (laughs) waving at the dude um so uh yeah so she's weak to bleed and weak to frost um a lot of people you know um bleed bleed in this game is just insanely powerful and um I feel like a lot of people, um, you know, try and use that on her. Um, and they use that in P- PvP and whatnot, too. Um, and I think that the, between that and uh, people doing, like, a strength, uh, faith build is probably, like, the next most popular thing that people do in this game um, that you see in PvP and whatnot. Um, me, personally, I haven't done a ton of PV- PvP. Um, 
I had a lot of fun building my character. It does a lot of damage, but um, I feel like it's more of a uh, PvE uh, oriented character. So this guy's using Swarm of Flies, which does a lot of blood damage, and the Rivers of Blood Katana. He just does a special attack there. She ke I keep trying to attack her, she keeps moving. Now we're like cornering her and beating the piss out of her. <laughs> the other guy's throwing uh, Ice Dragon Breath. I got hit once there. Someone stunned her, but we're just like literally like beating the hell out of her in the corner and Here we go. So the second phase um, She has this like flower dive bomb attack right there and explodes so you gotta like be careful of that What I typically do is this I do the ice dragon breath because I use some incantations with my build um and she actually does, uh, she can cause, uh, what's called Scarlet Rot on you in this, in this phase as well. Uh, cause she's the, the Rot Goddess. Um, Scarlet Rot is a horrible, um, status effect in this game. Uh, it's worse than Poison in, uh, Dark Souls 1. Um, it's just terrible, 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 uh, status effect. The one guy got killed. So we're trying to survive here. Swarm of flies. Oh, that was the host. So I think... Was that the host? I'm not sure. No, it wasn't. Um, I'm throwing some blood arrows at her. And then get her with those. Oh, I think I get killed in this one. So I'm not careful. Yep, I almost got killed right there. Avoided that. It's barely healed there. She's a lot more aggressive in this phase too. Yeah, this one, the I don't know if it was my connection. Or what? And all of a sudden, like, she was just standing there, and then all of a sudden she did that Scarlet Rod explosion and killed me. One shot. I don't know if it was my connection or the host's connection, but uh, I ended up getting killed there. She was just standing there, and I was like, alright, well, I'll take it. <laughs> I was just swinging for the fences. But, uh, yeah. Alright. So, I think this might be might be the last the last attempt we try here I'm just laying down some commentary on top of this video because like I said it it took a while to um, actually consistently get summoned um, I was you know I, I was trying before and I I, uh, I did one attempt and it ended pretty quickly and then there was like you know I was waiting 10 minutes before I got summoned again um, so this here, at least, uh, there was a couple minutes of dead space in between getting summoned, but, uh, um, these last, these last couple here aren't bad. Um, and that last, uh, that last fight wasn't bad, except I got killed. Like I said, I don't know if it was my connection or the host connection, but just like kind of froze up and glitched out. So, so as far as what is coming on the channel um, next, um, I'm. I think I mentioned previously. My buddy and I are doing a um, a co-op uh, playthrough of Dark Souls One. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to record some footage of just myself going through the game the second time, or maybe maybe I will, and then. Uh, I'll ask my buddy if he wants to actually get recorded <laughs> of what, with us uh, playing co-op. Um, and we'll see. Um, and as far as, as far as other than that, um, I think in August uh, there is a, a Souls-like uh, game coming out called uh, Themesia. Um, 
it looks i've seen gameplay of it it looks kind of difficult um but we'll see how it goes um i did play mortal shell which is is another souls like and uh that i don't know i i couldn't get into that one it was it was difficult as well and i don't know it, it's just something about these you know these souls games the the from soft games that they just they just get it right they're they're absolutely fantastic um and you know not to say that these other games aren't good you know they're they're getting the formula right but i don't know it's just you know something uh something about these games that they just do everything right so shooting some lightning at her the one guy and the again the connection is kind of glitchy on this one too So we got the the frost, the frost from the dragon, and up, oh, and the host get killed already. Oh my god! Oh, maybe that wasn't the host. So yeah, it's just a. Oh, here's the waterfall. Oh, right here. So. Yep, see that that one right there. I just dodged through it a couple times. So it's like, you know, it's one of those things you like anything else in Souls. Like you just gotta like memorize the bosses' patterns, and you know, do your best. I mean, um, especially with this lady. This lady's nuts. Um, and that attack. That's uh, that attack is like nothing else I've ever seen before. Like something out of an anime cartoon or something. It's ridiculous. There she goes again with it. And this guy... Yep, dead. He got caught by the full brunt of that. So, I think... Yeah, that is about it, guys. Um, that's really all I was able to capture. I was hoping to um, actually get a kill on her with a, a group of people, but it did not pan out that way. But anyway... I hope you guys enjoyed, and take care, and I will see you soon in future videos. Have a good one.